Take it. I am still at the College of Magic and right now, guys, I have three aspiring magicians, Rabia, Emma and Grant. What is your understanding of magic before you came to study it? Magic was quite entertaining for me and my brother actually started two years before me, so I kind of knew what magic was before. My dad studied magic when he was young, so I sort of grew up with magic around me. He did magic shows at all of our birthday parties, so I sort of had an idea of what it was going to be like before I came here. When I was younger, mm -hmm. every Christmas, David Gore, who's the CEO of the College of Magic and the founder, mm -hmm. being my mom's cousin, he used to always show me one trick, which was taking a sponge ball mm -hmm. and disappearing it. And I was just amazed for the rest of the year until I got to see it again. What did you say are some of the misconceptions people have about magic? Um, just that magic isn't actually an art and it's mm. not entertaining mm -hmm. and which it is because uh, I think engage, it's very entertaining. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> you engage with the audience and uh -huh. you kind of show them a different side of you. So you just competed in the Western Cape Junior Magician Championships. What is it like competing? I think it was mostly just an amazing experience to be to have the opportunity to perform on the stage and compete against some of the best magicians in the Western Cape. It was really intense. I did compete in it last year, mm -hmm. but this year I think it was much harder because we had very good magicians competing. So mm -hmm. it was quite a challenge and I think there was over 500 people in the audience. Mm -hmm. But it was really, really a good experience and to share your talent with so many people, it really is a wonderful thing to do. It is quite nerve-wracking because we went up against wonderful magicians, mm -hmm. but it was quite a good experience overall. Why do you think that there are so few um, female magicians? Um, not many people actually know about magic. So I think the boys are much more interested, but if girls actually knew about how much fun it is, we actually mm -hmm. have an annual mm -hmm. um, girls like night. That's cool. So, yeah, so um, it's quite fun and we get to know each other and all the girls like unite. I think like any profession, there's been a sort of a dominance of males in the past yes. and as mm -hmm. we move forward there's an increase in females so I think with a whole lot more females here I think we can inspire more females to join and I think it'll improve. Do you have any advice or words of encouragement for someone at home that wants to come into magic? Yeah just all I can say is go for it just do it if you already want to do it I think just dive in and it's an amazing opportunity to be able to perform in front of um, groups of people so just go for it. Don't be afraid to try magic it's really fun and mm -hmm. you enjoy it so much. I think if you want to start doing magic you should definitely come to the college because they help you unlock a lot of skills not only magic but with being able to stand up in front of a thousand people and other things like puppets and miming etc. It builds confidence. It builds confidence mm -hmm. and they even help you and tell you about businesses and try to build an entrepreneurial side of you. Up. That's really awesome. So you, you leave the College of Magic being a really versatile person, not just a magician, right? That is correct. I think that's a misconception because people just yeah. think, oh, you're just there to play, you know, a few yeah. cards, a hat, carrots, rabbits. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> don't go away, guys, because when we come back, Emma, Rabia and Grant will show me a few magic tricks. You don't want to miss it. Nine, nine. Hectic. <laughs> 